Now, I am happy to review any type of club on this channel, but sometimes the clubs are not necessarily aimed at my handicap bracket. And although I always try and give an opinion and a perspective based on my own ability, in this case, I feel like I need a little help. Well, today I've got two sets of irons that are very much aimed at the better player. So I think we should go and knock on the door of Lewis, see if we can get him out here on the course and get his opinion on these two. So, Lou, I got you out of your warm pro shop. What are your... Um, first of all, I should tell you what those irons are, shouldn't I? I forgot that bit. So, they're from Mizuno. <laughs> yeah, that's important. We've got the 923 lineup. It's the second half of their release in many ways because we've seen the hot metal, but this is the Tor and the Forged. Yeah. Now, these are without doubt, one of these in particular, the Tor, is very much in that better player's category and we'll talk about it very soon. But first of all, I just want your immediate thoughts, and I'll give my opinion. What do you think, on, or thoughts rather, on the looks of these things? There's no doubt they look good. Yeah. There's no doubt they look good. Um, <coughs> do Mizuno make a bad looking iron? That's the question nowadays. Different to, different to the 921, and I, yeah. think, I think the Forge has got a little sleeker, yeah. hasn't it? It's certainly sort of the bottom of it, the top yeah. of it. I think they've obviously tried to do something with that. Unfortunately, they've done the same thing with this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a smaller. I just sort that of said... the tour, by the way. The, the, this is the tour model, and um, I, I'm the, I'm not sure I even want to hit this. Yeah. It's very, very sleek. Yeah, I mean... It is. Uh, who is that even? Who Who's who's hitting that? Who wants to who's play per, that? Who's, who's going out and saying, you know what, that's the one for me. Yeah. I, I'd like to play them. We've got, I've got the four iron here, and I've just took it out now and thought... Do I have to? I'll hit the four in the four, no problem, but <laughs> it's a cold day. I'm laughing because there is an element of that. I tell you what, I'm going to make the game as hard as I possibly can, yeah. and I'm going to pick these irons. But look, we'll see how it may be visually deceptive. Maybe they're very playable. The thing they've done really well in the uh, Forge model, in particular on the width of sole, they've got a, a matte element and a chrome element. And it makes it know. look narrower than what yeah, it does. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So that's very clever. They've been doing that in hot metal for a bit, haven't they? they so really I are. like the fact they've taken it into that. I, so, I mean, it's a hugely popular iron, that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And so. while you talk about aesthetics, you know, they're not. it's not just there to look pretty on the shelf. That element of change there has really done a good job in making it look like a, well, more like a blade. Maybe it's, you don't want it to do that. But anyway, let's get into hitting them and see what your thought process are. Put that four Hopefully, right. Put that four right back in the back. Give me a seven iron. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore, bringing you the hottest deals in golf, and of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below, and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. It's right down it if it's there. Yeah. That's alright, it seems to stop as well. I can't hear what you're saying back there. Yeah, so yeah, so it's, it, yeah, so it's it, I mean it's got there. Yeah. It was alright, it was sort of you know, a couple of yards left of the pin. It's alright. Yeah. It's alright, yeah. Okay, that's it's very, all right. very positive. Yeah, yeah, start. it's all, no no, I think that's the forge. <clears throat> that's the forge, yeah. I I I mean the the video is you know, we're reviewing these is I think um the one thing that I would note is, I've never played a Mizuno club, mm. ever. I've got this question in my notes to ask you, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. You've ruined it. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, there's a reason why I've not played. Go on, then. Because let's, let's be honest, I mean, you know, nothing feels like a Mizuno. Mizuno, as I'm a brand... I'm going to probably say the most controversial thing. Oh, my word. Well, 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 I don't... I, I don't get the hype. Really? I just don't get it. Really? That the is, reason why I've never played it. It is controversial. It, it is controversial. I know it's going to upset loads of people, and I don't. Yeah. The reason I've not played them is I don't think they feel anything different than anyone else. Really? No. I don't. I don't. I think not. they look fantastic, and yeah. I know why people buy them. And I've probably never said that out loud because yeah. you know I used to fit these and, and, yeah, yeah. and stuff. I just don't get it. Yeah. I'd hit these all the time, and every single model, and I I get why people love them. They perform great. But. You I don't. just I just don't think they they feel any different than anyone else. I'm I'm going to say that I'm going to I'm going to hit these uh, very shortly because I would I would disagree with that. I re I always think that the feel out of Mizuno irons is really good. I'm definitely in that camp. So you there's are loads of people that it's so controversial. controversial. I know I know and I think uh, 
I, I'm not trying to be controversial. I yeah. just, I've never got it. Good. Well, I've no, never, this is all about honest reviews. I've never got it. Let's get another ball down, hit the tour model, and see what your thoughts are with that. And then we'll I've switch up and I'll have a go. It's small, this, isn't it? Ah, super strike. Who got there? Oh, my word. That's, that's a, close that's a as well, shot. isn't it? Oh, there you go, maybe I do like them. There you go. <laughs> I just. I mean, the interesting thing is, a really good shot. Um, I think you got that a bit cleaner than what you did the first ball. To be honest with you, yeah. I was really, I was really <clears> impressed <throat> with what the first ball done because yeah. it was, it wasn't your purest of strikes. That one was. You tell me what happened anyway. Uh, what I, I hit them both okay. Your know, one's probably what 15 foot. One's probably a couple, a couple of feet away. Um, feels lovely. Mm. There's one thing I'm stood over that thinking. Mm. I don't know why. I can't I, get I, this wrong. I, I can't get it wrong. Yeah. No, it, it, it's it's if confidence inspiring is a thing in irons and how yeah. they look going. Oh yeah. Yeah. Then this is the other way for yeah, me. Yeah. Is I, I don't stand over a ball thinking, oh god, it is clean. Often, but I yeah. am with them. They're, they're noticeably smaller than most things. Yeah, they are. Um, and it's interesting with Lou, and that's why I like him on the channel because I like him as a from a professional's perspective. The fact that you use P770s, I think is, like I said, is a yeah, good yeah. move because you're saying that I don't want to make the game as hard as I can. Even in P770s, yeah, yeah. there's a little bit yeah. of help there, P isn't it? People lose sight of what the game of golf is and it's it's a number in a box yeah. and I just want to get that lower. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, and and I think that, you know, I try and use clubs that make that easier for me. Um, I and wouldn't, you think that's I think, life hard? Uh, yeah, and, and even if these performed exactly the same as what i've got because of the look of them yeah and because of it has that negative effect mentality on mentality wise yeah 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 i wouldn't you know i put myself in some thick rough and try and sort of yeah um sort of give it a bit more out of this yeah I you think you need to because of what I, I would i just wouldn't feel as though i yeah. you know i i, I just do, it doesn't do anything for me they feel great they, they, that one felt great yeah to be fair so well let me have a couple i'm going to hit a couple of shots and i'll see what i can possibly yeah. manage like i said they're not for me but i'm going to hit a couple they, Nice strike. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, first of all, nice enough strike, interesting enough for me, that was the Forge model. Um, what, what, did you, what did you think of that in terms of... It just you, okay, there was nothing yeah, yeah. that jumped out of it. It's one shot, I think I'll swap in. Have you got the Yeah, I've got, got the, the tour here for you, yeah, yeah. Um, and first of all, like behind the ball? I don't mind that, to be honest with you. That's not, I think that's, you know, I can, I can deal with that. If I'm honest with you, I'm not... I'm not overly put off by smaller clubs. I don't mind it. It's weird, isn't it? Because I'm the, I'm the by far the worst player. The smaller head doesn't overly bother me. Um, what I'd be more concerned is there is kind of like, it, was a, it wasn't the greatest swing. It's leaked out a little bit to the right, but it doesn't seem to suggest there's, you know, that kind of zip out yeah. the club face. And maybe that's because I didn't get it out the middle. And maybe that's the issue. Yeah. Forgiveness is going to be the biggest deal. Nice. I mean, that's a, a really pure strike. You can see again, I can't get the distance that you could go. I think that's bunker, is it? Yeah, but From bunker? I, yeah, I, it doesn't matter. You know, the loft is-, is You need to work it, with that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, I'm really it, sort of impressed how that performed. Yeah, I mean, to did be right? honest yeah, with yeah. you, it, 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 it did well. Um, it was a better swing and a better strike, so it's hard for me to say. I think I'm going to leave my bit there and I'm going to reserve judgment. We've got a couple of four irons, which again, four iron and that is going to be scary. We'll move to the next tee and uh, see what we do there. Uh, it's a little pulley. Uh, really okay. nice sound that again, you know. That's okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it did sound good. Yeah. Slightly harder sound, isn't it, off that? Yeah. They're all right, they're both slightly left of the pin, but you tend to do that on this one. It, it, they're, they're noticeable in performance, I think. That, you know, for, for visually, they're coming off. This one's higher uh, for me, which uh, I'm guessing they're less loft, I, I don't really know. Uh, they always used to be, but they're coming off way quicker, yeah. way quicker. You can notice. Um, but yeah, yeah, they're, they're both, they both perform good. Mm.
That's exactly where I was aiming, to be quite honest with you. It's down the left a little bit, but that's the tour model. I mean, I'm going to switch up into the other, but at the minute, I prefer the tour, to be quite honest with you. Sounds almost different like Ben again, Spencer's that, my line has definitely been a little bit guarded more down that left hand side. For me, you know, again, both obviously forged clubs, but I think there's a noticeable difference in the tour. It's so much softer, in my opinion, than, um, than this forged model. It just feels a little bit harder to me. Solid. Super strong. Strike. Right. That's so nice. Oh, it's nice that. Look at me change my opinion now. I can't believe the sound difference, you know, it's incredible. They do sound nice, don't they? You haven't had a bad shot with them, have you? No, and that was interesting because that was off the bottom grooves. I got that definitely down the bottom and it, it, it wasn't the end of the world, let's say, do you know what I mean? Big cut on that. That's performed okay, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. A little bit out to the right, but... Yeah, but not too bad strike. again. Yeah, yeah. Probably, strike. again, a bit surprising with it being the four iron. That, uh, I don't know, this forgiving word's hard to quantify, but that wasn't too bad, to be fair. Right, so we're going to finish off with a couple of four irons off the tee here uh, on the eighth. You're going to go first, Lou. First ball you hit was with the tour model. Yeah. Give me your immediate thoughts on it. I like the feel of it. Oh my word. <laughs> no, it sounded really good. Yeah, Every ball yeah, your face has been yeah, pure with the, the forge. The, yeah, no, with the tour. With the tour, um, I still wouldn't change my opinion on, on how it looks. I still think very much it doesn't Scary. inspire it doesn't inspire me with yeah, confidence yeah. at all. Um, it, every ball I've hit with it, fantastic. It feels great. You know, obviously these are weaker lofted, so yeah. I'm not expecting, you know, the best performance ever. But they do exactly what I imagine people want. It's yeah. the difference in the feel between the two. And what did you think? So the second ball you're going to see now is yeah. Lewis is in the Cromolloy ball. Uh, the, sorry, I'm jumping the gun there a bit, aren't I? It's the forged ball. Yeah, you it's got there before. Cromoly, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the forged is the Grainfold forged with the Cromolloy, and yeah. it noticeably feels different. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of what I was kind of alluding to earlier with the feel of, as you know, I never really got it, is that's kind of um, my thing is, yeah, I'm hitting that forge thinking, well, I wouldn't purchase these for the feel. Yeah. I, I don't like these because they just don't feel any better than anything else. Um, the tour, great, forged, perform better, obviously. I imagine the lofts are different, I, but... I think even I'm going to overlay now just a couple of shots that I attempted with four iron, to be fair, hit the tour ball um, reasonably well, got it off the bottom grooves a little bit, and it still performed probably better than I expected to, but felt okay. Hit the club, the forge, I really struggle with these names, leaked the ball out to the right, much higher ball flight, but again, just a harder feel off the face. Yeah. And I go back even to the previous models, what you've just alluded to, of the 225 range, 223, 221s, or 921s, 925s. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, it's exactly the same as what you've mentioned there. The, where Cromoly is introduced, it ultimately just isn't that pure forged feel. You have to go to that really pure yeah, yeah. forged element in all the lineup, and it is noticeably different. For me, hands down, the winner would be the tour model. I'm not put off by the, the smaller profile. I understand exactly Lewis's yeah. thought process. I'm a lot older than him, and like these clubs were exactly what I started playing golf with, so maybe it's just a visual thing, doesn't bother me. But the feel out of them and the sound, I mean, every time he hits a ball, I could have told you which club you were using just by the noise I was yeah. hearing. Um, there's so much uh, different, harder is the sound I would uh, suggest. So you think there, Mizuno have always been known for their feel through the range yeah. and what we're getting to now is, yeah. for performance reasons, yeah. I think they're getting away from that a little bit yeah. and they're keeping their feel in the, in the sort of the tour model. Yeah. I, I would definitely go with that. You know, the tour's well impressed. Um, yeah, I think you're you right. Know, the Forge perform good, but would you pick them for feel? Oh, yeah. that's, that's good. I like it. Yeah. No, I think it's a fair point, to be honest. And I think until these on-course videos, and especially head-to-head -head videos, if you like, are really good because 
when you do that, you notice the difference because you pick up one, then you play the other, yeah. and you can really notice the difference between the two. So, right, don't forget, today's video is very much, it, it's, it's not technical, there's no data that you've seen. We've not talked about the specifications in terms of the loft. It's just been an immediate response to taking clubs out on the course. In reality, two very different handicap levels giving you their perspective. Hope you enjoyed what you have seen today. If you've tried these uh, and or attempted to try these, let me know what your thoughts are and uh, whether or not you'd be directed to one or the other. As ever, thanks to Lewis, thanks to Hollywell Golf Club, and uh, I'll see you hopefully tomorrow night. Thanks for watching.